Hey guys, MC Crawl here. All right, I got a another little proof of concept here for you today. Um, somebody has already kind of done this. Uh, I believe it was Seth Bling who had made the technically the first wall-mounted uh, pressure plate. I think it was Seth Bling. I always get the names confused, so I apologize if it's wrong. If correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I will put big old annot annotations right there in the center of the screen. Um, but, um, I was watching someone's video and I noticed that when they bumped into something, uh, that it, it, it triggered something. So I had to test it out. Um, uh, I do not have it. Why don't I have that in my inventory? That is so lame. Uh, do, 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 do. I guess I can do that. Uh, what we have here. These are fence gates, and in the NPC villages, they have the pressure plate, um, uh, whatever the hell you want to call them, sorry, uh, tables, pressure plate tables. And um, if you stand up next to one, you can hear that it, it triggered. And it works the same with the stone pressure plates. Now, the first thing I thought of was, <gasps> we could put redstone! And no. Unfortunately, it is a transparent block, so it does not power any blocks in those locations. However, oh, also, check that out. Fence posts connecting to blocks. Ah, oh, sick. Um, if we do this, and then we put power on top of those, or the, uh, you know, what I'm talking about. They, it actually does power off of the sides. So... Uh, this is a true, um, wall-mounted pressure plate. You can hide it about this much, <laughs> and that's, that's pretty much all you can do. Uh, if you want power to go out, you have to have redstone being exposed, unfortunately. Um, the only other thing I can think of, uh, where redstone wouldn't be... Uh, exposed like this would be in this situation. We stick a sticky piston right there with a block on the end. Let's do this. Oops. We need a source of power. We need a repeater. Get that off there. And that sucked. Oh, that's right. Uh, this has to extend outward. Otherwise, that will cause issues. Like so. And I do believe that right there, see the power is on. And then it's off. I can... So you guys can see it better. We'll destroy that one. If we go like this. Let's remove those. And now we have a hidden wall-mounted pressure plate. Yeah, I am super excited about this, guys. I can't tell you how much this is going to change certain things. First of all, this is a uh, mob protective stone pressure plate. Like, they can't... First of all, they can't jump on top of it because it's one and a half blocks high. They can trigger it easily if you were to stack, say, like this, and you have them flowing with water, pushing them this direction. They could trigger a pressure plate super easy. Um, there, oh, there's so many ideas that I can think of for this. Uh, I will come out with some cool stuff, but, uh, yeah, I was doing my, um, uh, my redstone rule book, and I had... We're trying to come up with some ideas, and this just really blew up. All right, guys. Uh, well, this is the end. Um, I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time.